Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do basic recon on sites and on servers. So let's take example.com. So last time I did it, it was like long ago. I just did some basic recon, not really in depth, it's like with an RHF gain so far. Example.com. Example.com. So this is the first one method we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you. Well, the com. It's just an example. So you'd use what's this? Wapalize and like see. Oh, okay, we're running a zero. Some sites use like a jQuery or let's look at a different site. Let's let's see this one. What's this? It's got 11 things. So a lot of people you know, like add and add extensions, and when you'd like check, oh, doc doc is this I can't say that. <laughs> when you search that, okay, it's using version 4.13. and you can say volumes and you can like do reconnaissance on what vulnerabilities are on the page let me move it out of the way let me put it on the top right corner for you there we go see and you can see here if it has vulnerabilities or not at what version are we running Okay, okay, they don't have a fun quality, okay, I'm just making sure. But yeah, you can basically see what people are running. The other method is nmap. Now, nmap has a bunch of commands. Um, people just use the default stuff, but you can also make it so it uses the custom scan. For example, what you can do is you can do this. Uh, this, is a, this is what I like to do. You can do, uh, just do one of you. When I and when we use a different scan method, I just I'm just gonna copy it quickly for you. Yeah, this one. Yes, uh, uh, copy at the bottom. Dash I and when we do this. And what SN is, uh, how I understand, I might be wrong about this. Uh, it's supposed to be a vulnerable, not vulnerable, a stealth scan. Let's check. It's mouse. Null scan. Yeah, I'm just verifying this because I don't want to like. Yeah, see, more stealthy instant scan. So these are like the free scans you would use if you want to like hide that you're scanning. Because if you're using an old scan, null means nothing. Like, uh, so I think it's like sending empty packets. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is what null means. Null means zero. So I'm, I'm just assuming that's how a null scan works. Just sends nothing. You're just sending in no, 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 like no data. Can actually just read this. Yeah, it does not set any bytes. So basically, yeah, it's just like you're not sending really anything as a scan. And uh, Finn is, I think you're Finn, you like in the connection. Yeah, but that's how that scan works. Um, but yeah, you can just like do a scan. We can do. Ex we can do. It's not illegal to scan a website. So, all dot com. I need to use sudo for this. Just, just ignore the special VM name. My main system is uh, away. We set up a temporary system. But this only scans the top 1000 ports. If you want to scan everything, you have to use this flag. So if you want to just make sure there's nothing on the entire server, you'd this. But, um, 
scanning like this can also cause like a firewall to go off so you can actually add extra stuff like extra firewall and id evasion like bad check like spoof checksums let's add that some and we can also add a delay but adding a delay makes it a bit slower so you can like, like drink coffee or like do something else while you scan the ip or server or domain whatever you choose to enter Mm, where's the lay? Mm. Oh, you can also set scan rate, set scan slower. So it does scan slower. And you can also send a scan delay between each scan. Here. Here's all the stuff I'm highlighting. Let me make it bigger for you. But can I make it bigger? Hmm. All right, I'll try and make it bigger so you can see. But yeah, basically those are like all the stuff. I'll post the uh, the scans and stuff and paste bin in the video for other people to see the scan methods I'm using or like flags. So now it will be more stealthy. Uh, oh, try PN. Okay, we can also if it says um, oh, it seems down and it's you know it's not down. Just add dot p dash pn not dot so dash capital pn. Uh, wait, I did it in reverse. I think uh, yeah, caps lock is on. Yeah, see now it's gonna scan for every port. We'll come back to this later. Just like to see what version stuff of uh, what versions are we using. Okay, and now if you do find something that's vulnerable, you can use Ploitus. It's a basically a, a tool which hacks, which you can use to search for uh, exploits to hack stuff with. So if you type and open SSH. Uh, then you have to do this. You have to enable title only sometimes, not with everything, but sometimes just to get the results. And see, here's a recent CVE where, like, you can, um, what do you call it, the regression thing. I think it's the regression CVE. Yeah, I think it's called regression. Basically, it's like a CVE that happened recently with SSH. Uh, it's, it's not too serious. It's like 32 bits. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah. Regression. Your code execution. It's like, it's an OCE, but it's really hard. It will take a long time to execute on 64 bit servers. But yeah. That's uh, where you search for exploits. You can search for multiple things. You can also use in the terminal. So there's three methods you can search for stuff. You can use search Floyd on Kali. I don't have Kali installed, so I'm just going to show you via the website, right? Search Floyd Kali. Next. Let's we'll find it for us. There's also like a news tool, I haven't used it yet. Uh, tools. The very move search ploid. Wait. Am I going crazy? Hold on, let me just check. Okay, okay. I think last time I was here, the layout's different. So, yeah, here's search ploid. You get uh, exploit DB and then you get search ploid. So, search ploid basically, you just type in a search ploid and then the. What do you call it? The pa what you're pa looking for a package name. So, so, you would say search ploid open SSI. Search ploid. MySQL, uh, I mean, it'll show all the versions of vulnerabilities you can use, and you can also use Metasploit. Uh, you can go into Metasploit and search for like exploits. Because I found a solution to not having kind of Linux, I can just use uh, try hack me stuff, share examples of how it works, how it works basically.
But see, like adding this um, uh, stuff, it's it slows it down a reasonable bit, the way it scans. So, you know, but it's a downside, but it, it's worth <laughs> three hours. Okay, it's uh, done launching. Yeah. I'll just open my exploit. Oh. You can tell the lag. I'll show you how to search for Metasploit for like, um, if something's exploitable or not. Let's just let it launch. But yeah, search for it is pretty good. I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's like well maintained. Mm, what what else can you do? Okay, so in map scan. Oh, so you can also use that. So this is like an automated tool. Not everything is one hundred percent always correct. You know that's how it is. Let's let me finish this. You just say search and you type in. Let's just open this search. Just because I'm too lazy to search anything else, see? It'll uh, show you ready and available modules you can use. Like that are pre-installed. You can say... I think you can say update. No, upgrade. I think... I don't know how you update Metasploit. I think it updates on its own. Or maybe not. I'm not 100% sure of this. Like, I know you can update it to get new packages. And if you download like a exploit from exploiters of a website, just remember to go into the Python file and edit, configure it. So I can show you. I'll show you. Oh, okay. I'll do it in a later video because I have to keep on topic. This is recon. This is recon. So just a little bit uh, excited. I'm in the mood to make videos again. You know. And uh, someone asked, but I show how you do I2P, like how you do, what do you call it, how you add and find a bunch of sites on I2P. I'll, I'll show everyone how to. Okay. So, what do you want to do is you do, if you just want to do automated scan, you can basically, this tool is like everything. It's like, like everything. Everything in it. You can change the scan policy, right? So that it does scan some more stuff. You can change it to modify tax strength, the strength of attacks, and also like the uh, like how many attacks, strength, threshold. Yeah, you can just change this. I changed it already to insane. It's just this medium, but yeah. I mean, you'd enter the, the website URL here. That you'd enter website URL here and then say attack, and then it'll automatically start attacking. You might need a stronger computer for this, depending on how. Like I have, I have a computer that's in for repair still. It's got 30, like 46 gigabytes of RAM, and two GPUs, and after like 12,000 pages being indexed on an unoptimized website, my PC freezes. So, yeah. Pen, you might need real strong, like a really strong PC for this, depending on what site you're scanning. Okay. Um, let's see what else recon stuff I can show you. Ah, oh, okay. So, if you have a website, right, you can actually scan for directories. So, some websites don't block all directories. So, like, some website, WordPress websites, allow you to go to the... Um, what do you call it? Admin, the WP WordPress admin page. I think it's Go Buster. There's one I use. I use the graphical one because I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I use the graphical one. I know, I know I should use terminal. But I, I, I don't like typing. It's a waste. Well, it's like really just a waste of time. This like text lists. Okay, so basically you just enter a website. You have to, I don't think you have to enter a port, but if it just entered like this, exactly like this, you have, might have to add the slash, and then you'd go here, up, up, 
and man, so someone's going in for food basically. But uh, we can go here, share Kalia's word lists, which you can use right for um, just give me a second, uh, word lists which you can use to scan directories. See, so Joe Buster. So common, big. I usually go big because I like big, but I don't know which ones if it's actually big or not. Because this can be big at that time, and if you just someone can make a bigger word list. You can even make your custom word lists, like your own word list and stuff. Or you can brute force it, which just takes forever. So then you'd say Durbuster. And when we'd say this. Okay, when you say start, and then it'll start scanning and you can leave it. Also, if you need to make a word list, uh, I should, I want to make a video about this. I'm just going to record this now and add it for a video later. So there's a tool called Crunch. So this is how you do it. You literally just add every letter you want. You can add capital, you can add small letters. But I'm just going to use QWERTY, right? QWERTY. And then... Dash O for output, right? Like what you wanted to save it as. Test.txt And then let's see, I think this is correct. Yeah, so yeah, see, very, very generated all the passwords. Mm, I have to check how you save it. I think it's small, though, maybe. Okay, let's test it. Just want to make sure because I can't remember like every syntax. Yeah, see, okay, so small o, so small o, and then test.txt, and now you have a word list. You can add any character and symbol you want to, 